morning. Oh no, someone's podcast is having a pensive moment and they've run out of music. Hurry, to the sad marimba planet. Nice one. No. No. We've used that one before. Oh, here we go. The winters are harsh and the beats won't drop. Won't you help? It's another 212 trillion miles back to Earth. Listening to that the whole way. What, seriously? Did you check the routers? If we don't have internet, then we don't have navigation. You mean we're just stuck here? Stuck here? Stuck here? Stuck here? Oh, for God's sake. Well, there's still no internet, so we've landed on a nearby planet full of, uh, infinitely rearrangeable beats. You know that kid's game with the dice? Yeah, you just shake them up, and they rearrange themselves. <laughs> sitting in a crater. We think it might control the portal. We're just not sure how it works yet. Um, is that a cabbage? What did you do? Oh, okay, let me try. C-A-B-B-A-G-E 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 Hey Hey Would you like an egg? How about a decaf? D-E-C-A-F Do you want to see your dead dad? D-E-A-D D-A-D Actually, that was my dead dad. Well, this is thoroughly entertaining and useless, which is mostly how I feel about the universe anyway. You know what I really want right now is just a phone. Can't spell that on a keyboard, though. Sure, give it a try. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, cool. I think we may have found the last payphone in the known universe. I know just who to call. Hey, man. Oh, I'm so glad you picked up. Well, we ran out of internet and got stranded in space. That's true. It was pretty scary. What do you think we should do next? I know you're right. Everything will be okay. It's just really nice.
nice to hear your voice, Matt Lieber. So we figured out you used the left pedal to make things appear. And the right pedal down here is to transport. So I say just play some keys and see where it takes us. Where'd you go? Okay. I've been here before. The sky fills with glowing bees. If you have a jar or something, you can... Oh, thanks. You can make music by popping one in. Here, here, grab another one. Try another. Here, let's do five. Oh, there's a big one. Okay, now take the lid off. If we just had more jars, we could take some back with us. Where are you pulling these from? air on this planet is weird. It doesn't allow for more than one sound to travel at any time. So there's never any so there's never any overlap. There are all these instruments lying around. You can never hear two at once. Do you have some of those bees from last time? Oh, no thank you. I was just establishing continuity. Never mind. I know we should keep moving, but I'm having fun getting mono. Get it? Cause, cause like we can only hear one sound at a time on this planet. Mono. It's a funny joke. <sighs> hey, you alright? <coughs> Do you want to play another duet? <coughs> Would you like to yell all your worries into the cold void of space while I play drum machine? <laughs> alright, give it here. <coughs> okay, trade me. Uh, hell, we're lost in space without internet, can't find our way home, and even if we could, we might not be able to go back because the trumpet is f***ing travel bad, I'm cracked dead mouse, and uncomfortable helmet rappers can't even try to rhyme anymore, it's just five different f***ing courses over stock stop trapping, and my fast f***ing one, I don't even bother, it's for no reason, I'm just f***ing buttholes. Yeah, I feel better. This seems like a safe place to sleep. We can keep looking for internet in the morning. Good night. Menu. Sleep mode. Six hours. G -g Good night. Yes.
Good morning. I feel like the same melody has been in my dreams for as long as I can remember. Saving dream sequence. Error. File corrupted. But I can never remember how it goes. Morning. Just take us somewhere peaceful, would you? We need to think seriously about how we're getting home. <laughs> Bicycle planet, bicycle planet. I'm okay. Shh. Here she comes. There are monsters everywhere. Sometimes it feels like I can't do anything but work around them. Let's get out of here. Just play anything. Get us off Monster Planet. Seriously? I think it's working. I never saw Superman too. Maybe we can spin time forward. Hey, what if we run the other direction? Is the ground spinning backwards really fast? Can you understand me? What is this place? Good, we're back here. Look out. I think someone's covering us from that hill. Oh, look out. We're gonna hide in that cave. Ready? Three, two, one. I think they shot up our piano. Let's hide out here. I can't think of anything else to do. Yes. Yes, I do want to make rock music with you. I don't hear anything. Do you think they're gone? Who the hell was that? Is that a moth? Moths are stupid. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I have this thing. <laughs> there are these empty compartments in the back of the helmet. I don't know what they're for, but I hide things in there sometimes. And then I forget about them. This thing. It's basically a computer chip with a tiny rubber band. You power it on. 
and it triggers musical notes as you wave it around in three-dimensional space. Rimsky, Korsakoff, and I were tying these things to bees in the late 90s. I mean, yeah, obviously. He was off his face. If we can catch that moth. Nice. Here, tie it on. Okay, let it go. Except bees at least can predict their own flight patterns. Mods are stupid. Good morning. Saving dream sequence. Error. File corrupted. Good morning. Should we head back? I haven't heard anything out there since the gunfire. Oh man, they shot up our piano. John Cage would be so proud. Let us bow our heads in 4 minutes and 33 seconds of silence. Just kidding. Do you think you can fix it? Do you think we can still play it? What is that? It sounds like something's rattling around in there. Oh, it's some kind of metal box. Was that in the piano the whole time? The gunshots must have dislodged it. I wonder what's inside. Good morning. Is the piano all fixed? Oh, nice job. Play us something lively. Oh, we're just falling. This is kind of peaceful, actually. Do you smell rotten meat? Good God, look above you, it's Steve Bannon in a sexy Santa outfit riding an interdimensional kaleidoscope dragon made of used syringes and glass xylophones. It's the Queen, her eyes are full of fire and hate. Fuck you. Good morning. Is the piano all fixed? Oh, nice job. Let's put the mystery box back in there. It's giving me weird dreams. Play us something lively. <laughs> Wait. Don't. We should really have a theme song. Yeah, you and me. You and I. Flying around the universe, looking for stuff. Being friends. That's Star Wars. You're gonna get us sued. That's just Star Wars backwards. <laughs> nope, that's Star Wars, but you started on the dominance and went the other direction. Nope, that's Indiana Jones, which was the theme to Turkish Star Wars, for some reason. <laughs> The first notes of 2001, E.T. and the Golden Girls. Oh, that fits us perfectly. Nice job. Theme song achieved. 
Which golden girl are you? One, two, three, not Stanley. Ha <laughs> we hate Stanley. Actually, with a wig and glasses, you'd make a great Estelle Getty. Where were you hiding those? Yeah, never mind. You know, it just occurred to me. I couldn't have gotten high with Rimsky Korsakov in the 90s. That would have been the 1890s. I'd be like 150 years old. Hmm. So why do I remember it so clearly? Actually, we should really figure out what's in this box. It's all desert here. If we had a tree or something to drop it from, maybe we could crack it open. Uh, yep. We're in a big jungle. It's awfully quiet, though. Hey, watch what happens when you take a step. <laughs> you know, there's just something about this planet that feels alright. I can't quite put my finger on it. I said, on it. Since when do you talk like that? This planet is dead sexy. Hey, you lost your virginity to a specific album, right? Fine. I won't tell you mine either. Oh, you're such a poet. I bet yours was like disc two of melancholy and the infinite sadness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd be thrilled if people were getting it onto my music. Right. They may as well just screw to an episode of Reply All. Wait. Where are we going? I don't know, let's go back. Hey, you know that thing Pink Floyd did with Wizard of Oz? You can do that with Sweet Caroline and literally all pornography. <laughs> I want to throw the box down from up high and smash it, but the trees here are too thin and prickly. We could have something a little more deciduous, perhaps? Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Behold, a vibrant new land where we can make a new internet. A good internet. For you, and for me, and this pinecone, and this bug, and this... Rock, I guess. Whoa! Bug just posted some cute pictures of her nieces and nephews. Good ones, Bug. I like those. Oh, Pinecone's got a great deal for 90% off Ray-Bans. No thank you, Pinecone. Not now. Rock just reblogged an interesting article about privilege. Thank you, Rock. I'll try to do better. Oh no, Pinecone wants to sell you a brick of 300 counterfeit boner pills. No, thank you, Pinecone. Go away, please. Oh, now Bug is expressing support for a local sports team. I hope they win. Rock just posted a funny cat video. Oh, I love that. Oh no, Bug just reposted Richard Spencer and said the races shouldn't mix. No, 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 Bug, no, no. Muted. Hello, there's a website that lets you chat with thousands of women for free. Just click the link below to get started. Not now, Pinecone. Jesus Christ. Where are you going? Are we sure this is a rock? It has teeth. Oh, hell no. Ah, 
I told you not to touch my drum machine. Those are my private projects. Is that a protein bar? I'm glad you're eating, but I'm still unclear where you're keeping these things. Yeah, see? Again, that's not really an answer. Just makes me think maybe I don't want to know. We have to find some internet. We need like a Starbucks parking lot planet. Oh, 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 when we pressed the left pedal and spelled decaf, the piano portal made us coffee. Maybe the right pedal will take us to a coffee shop. They have Wi-Fi. You want to try? Alright, I'll be back. You just enjoy your snack. Oh my god, what year is it? How long was I gone? Three seconds! Planet decaf is boring and horrible. The air is like jello and everything moves like this. It's all turtlenecks and Cat Stevens albums. They made me their leader. I have a family back there waiting for me. God, I'm so hungry. Dude. I'll go find some berries or something. I don't eat. I just remembered. Uh, the box is giving me weird feelings. to crack open. Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? I never saw that movie. But I have to watch the first six to understand it. Oh. Ew. Hey, look, I found some beets up in that tree, though. Who's this one? And this one. Yeah, we'll bring them back to those nice podcasters. If we can even get back. What about inside the piano? Have you found anything else weird? Whoa, well, check it out. The strings on the bottom octave pull out a couple of feet. They're actually acoustic bass strings. Cool. I guess we really never use those notes. Hey, you play bass. Shall we? Hell you. Underneath the bass strings, there's like a small blue switch I can't quite reach. It's right there. There must be a false panel on the side or something. Ah, aha. We should push this, right? Hell yes. Um... Right. More like, where are we? Well, I think we've made it to the bridge. Yeah, you know, between verse and chorus, neither here nor there. Yeah. 
Whenever the piano teleports us from planet to planet, we pass through another dimension just for a moment. I think this is that bridge, except it's not dropping us off this time. <laughs> the universe has crumpled into a ball around us, effectively gathering every point to the same place. We ride the infinity loop, bouncing off all destinations near simultaneously. The possibilities are endless. We need only hit the switch again to land. Yeah, that sounds right. Hey, was I talking just now? That's too many possibilities. You know that thing where you're statistically less likely to choose a mustard if you're given six quintillion choices per second? It's very discouraging. Never mind, it's all going by too fast to be selective about it. Air look, it's like cosmic roulette. Underwater planet. Singing shapes. Green snow falling up. Childhood smell planet. Uh, let's see. What else? Really big spiders. The ground is laser bats. The hills are like that piano from Big. Uh, it's like sex, but purple. Infinitely regressing Stevie Nicks planet. Bouncy castle. Burlap animals hovering overhead. Telepathic beaver planet. Mm, those things are hitting things with other things. Unlimited breadsticks. Dogs made of yogurt. Friday night chicken cake. Demon periodontist. Montage planet. Yeah. That was pretty good. Do you want to flip the switch? Here, trade me seats. And away we go. Where are we? Oh god, no. What is this place? Hey, I think it's about to... No, 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 I've been here before. Quick, quick, you have to hit the switch. Where are we? Oh, no, 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 hit the switch. You know how in musicals you think a song is over, but then it just goes up a half step and starts again? Ah, it hurts. Please press the switch. Ah, hit the switch, hit the switch, hit the switch. Good job. You can get stuck there for weeks. I call that the Broadway musical half step modulation planet. It's so awful. Uh, yeah, but you're a theater person. The rest of us are like, what's with the flappy hands? Why are they smiling so big? Hey, did you see that? From this angle, it looks like the piano is flickering inside. Is that the box? I swear it was lighting up. There. 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 Is it lighting up every time we pass through the same destination? There. There. It looks like it, but it's going by really fast. We never hit the switch at exactly the right moment. Talk about planet decaf. I set off for planet decaf, hoping to find a little internet. You stayed behind and ate a power bar. Gross. The turtle-necked inhabitants of Planet Decaf were friendly to me. They said if I put a chip in my helmet it would give me internet. And I believed them. But there was no internet. The chip put me into a state of slow motion. My movement became sluggish. My words drawn out and meaningless. They held me captive. For years, maybe. There was a lock on my helmet. I finally picked it with an acoustic guitar string. Right. Back where you were, I was only gone for three seconds. The time moves differently there, and the chip only slowed me down further. It feels good to talk about this. Mother f are you kidding me right now? No, I definitely shouldn't have believed them, but... Not reckless, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. 
that's messed up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not blaming you. What's that situation? Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Fine. I know you are, buddy. No, of course it's not. I think what we have to do next is gonna suck. I still have the slow motion chip. And you need to put it back in me. But only for a second. Not even a second. Pull out the moment it's in. Time will stretch out for me and I'll be able to hit the switch at the exact moment the box lights up. Wherever we land, that's the planet that's making this box flip out. So let's check it out. Here, trade me seats. Okay. Do it. Menu. Maintenance. System checkup. Start. Well, that's lucky. I wonder how many times I can get thrown like that. Mm. Perilous cliffs. Nice touch. Hey! Over here! Watch out for the edge! And whatever the hell that thing is. Footprints. Yeah, there are some over here, too. What the hell? Ooh, shiny. Hey, I found another computer chip on the ground. I said I found another... this in my head. Say nothing if you agree. Okay. Where are you? Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my head. I could never resist a bad idea. Hey, these look like paw prints over here. Okay, maybe I should sit down. Hey. Hey, did you see those boulders disappearing off the cliff? The air here is riddled with wormholes. The rocks slide into one, and come out another. Yeah, it's probably been the same landslide for decades. Doomed to repeat itself. So true. No, I'm not named after the Tipler Cylinder. Or the Hyper Cylinder. Why do you ask? Because of the wormholes. Right, yeah, well it's difficult to picture a four-dimensional cylinder. 
That whole thing raises the grandfather paradox, though, doesn't it? Well, that is interesting. I think you're fine. Something's wrong. Maybe I should sit down. Get off now. God, why are my dreams so awful? Ah, why are they getting worse? <laughs> Whoa. Why do I sound like this? This is my real voice. This is my real voice. This is my real voice. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. I do prefer this voice, though. <laughs> oh, you found me. What's happening? I feel great. What's happening? Do you hear that bird? What a great bird. I want to scratch it. Red. <laughs> what planet is this? Let's go somewhere else. Where's the piano? There we go. Let's go anywhere. Hit the switch. Oh, what a nice mossy hillside. The hills should sprout mushrooms. The mushrooms should all sing rip-off versions of outfield songs. I don't wanna misplace your affection to care. The lyrics should be about us, though. Dog and are fucking up. Now they should all die audibly grisly deaths. <laughs> that was good. Where should we go now? Give the switch another flick. No, no. Stop. Shut it down. We're not doing that. Where else? Oh, cool. I like this place. Oh, hey, I have an idea. Give me the drum machine. Thanks. Check it out. I just invented ten new musical genres. Technical death samba. Sexual R and B. Culinary fusion. Oh, hey, I forgot all about the box. Do you want to know what's in the box? <laughs> Me too. We never tried just asking. Want to do the honors? Let's see what's in there. And it's... Nothing. It's empty. Oh, great. We should have known. Actually, I think I did know. Actually, I think I know a lot of things I didn't know I know. Oh my god. The melody. I remember the melody from my dreams that keeps escaping me. It's always been there. It was just... Corrupted or something. Here we go. hidden in my head that opens a giant interdimensional wormhole. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, I think maybe I need to go in here alone. I'll be right back, okay? BMCs. Oh god, I really am a robot. Were we created on an assembly line? 
No, we're all fancy for telling each other funny stories. Wait, 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 hold on. Can everyone modulate to a different voice and get in line so I can tell you apart, please? Uh, okay. 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 Okay, go ahead. We're oh, literally the same person, the same just BMC. from different timelines. I'm you. Oh, for God's sake, what? We're all, we're all the, same the same person. person. We all live separate lives in separate dimensions. Okay, so how are we all here now? We, we found, found the infinity chip. We did? Yep. Yes. Yep. You mean the chip I found on that mountain planet? Yep. Yes. Yep. You, you stuck, stuck the chip in your helmet, helmet and, and now your helmet has become... The Infinity Helmet. That feels a little obvious. Couldn't we come up with better names for this stuff? Nope, we're not, not a wordsmith. Word. No. <laughs> music is more your thing. Fine. The Infinity Helmet gives you the power to remix the world around you. Uh, Change your voice. <laughs> control objects with your mind. Spend time and space to your whim. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought it was weird I could suddenly remix birds. It's because of that chip I put in my head. Yep. Yep. It's, it's also, also how you're here. The helmet helped you remember the melody. The melody is the key to opening the door. Huh. Well, it's nice to meet me. Likewise. So everyone has multiple versions of themselves living in parallel dimensions, and some of us just happen to be able to open up this time pocket and meet here. It wasn't, it wasn't always, always like this. this. No. Not exactly. No. What happened? Th 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 there was once an original, single version of all of us. Breakmaster Zero. So you experienced a trauma. You were distraught and accidentally shattered the universe into new versions. Do you remember, Do you what, we're remember talking about? what we're talking about? No. Oh, well... I mean, your dog died. What are you talking about? What dog? Oh, you mean dog? No, that's just their name. Yeah, they're not... I don't think they're actually a... Okay, but anyway... What are they, then? I mean, they're, you know... An excellent pilot. Wait, dog died? Nearly. BMC Zero brought them back using the helmet. They were pushed off a cliff by that wormhole out there. so upset. You brought time to a halt with the power of the, the Infinity Helmet and sent them hurtling back to safety. Wait, I totally saw that happen. I thought it was a horrible dream. That was actually a memory. Yeah. Oh god, that was awful. Yeah. We were pretty emotional. The sheer energy of bringing Dog, Dog back dismantled the fabric of time and space and splintered the universe into multiple timelines, launching us all into various directions. A lot of our memory banks were damaged. Some of us remember more than others. Once you found the Infinity Chip, the missing memories were reconstructed. Yeah, okay. So did I also get into a gunfight with Steve Bannon in a sexy Santa outfit? That one must have been a dream. Yeah, you got there's problems. something wrong with you. Oh. No. Fine. It was a stressful time, I guess. Weird things were happening on Earth before I left. Yeah. Oh, so what about that time I got high with Rimsky Korsakov in the 1890s and tied microchips to bees? Was that a dream? Oh, I did that. Interesting. So why do I have a memory of this? We're all pieces of one person. Sometimes our memories get mixed, mixed up and bleed through the timelines. You might occasionally remember what the others get up to. Yep, 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 yep. Here, we can also influence, influence each other. The helmet lets us open holes in space and time to communicate. This BMC over here just sits around messing with you. None of this is real. Yes. Actually, that's how you made it here. Check it out. I'm going to wake you up from cryo so you got the distress call and start heading in the right direction. I'm going to shoot up your piano so you found the box that will lead you to the infinity chip. Take that! We're gonna hide in that cave. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm gonna drop in and explain the infinity loop to you. Wait, you did all these things, or you're going to do all these things? Yep, we did those yeah. things already. I guess you must have. Future. I mean... We did it right after you leave here in a minute. There's, There's no, no time in this place. We're in a time cold this week. So you're all sitting here traveling into the past and influencing my journey so I end up here eventually? Yep. So it's Harry Potter 3. No. What's Harry Potter? Plus new Star Trek. No. What? Of course no. not. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you couldn't also stop me from going to planet decaf and getting captured? No, you need the slow motion <laughs> shift from that planet to slow down time. So you could hit the switch when the box lit up. So you could get to where the infinity chip was. So you could find yourselves. Okay, but maybe instead you could just whisper the coordinates of the infinity chip to me. And I could avoid that whole part of the journey. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do that too. We promise. You forgot, won't you? Nope. nope. <sighs> okay.
Okay, so who made the piano? You did. I did. All powerful us did. And who programmed the melody to get us here? I did. Yeah, I did. Right, okay. And the infinity chip was originally kept in that box? It looks like. But it got left behind on that harrowing cliff planet where we accidentally shattered reality. Yep. yep. And we all splintered off into new timelines in different directions with new and different lives. Definitely. Yep. And you're trying to get all the versions of us back here because... It's our job to help each other, right? Together. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Does that make sense? Fuck you, what's not to know? Makes as much sense as anything, maybe. Fuck you. So that's why the mountaintops on that planet are riddled with wormholes. Because when Doc fell and we saved them, we broke reality in that exact spot. Yep. Okay, but which came first? Right. No, that means a wormhole caused a landslide. Yeah. Which caused me to create the very wormholes that caused the landslide. Right. right. So that's what we're going with. A frustrating grandfather paradox. Time is a continuous series of parallel lines, multiple versions of the same reality, splitting off, looping back, beating itself, rewriting the data of their own past over and over, never ending spirals. Yeah, okay, I don't care anymore. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, this is stupid. I just want to go write music. Okay, bye, bye for, for now. now. Enjoy the infinity helmet. Oh, we are infinite remixing powers. I will, thanks. See you now and then. It's always now. Hey, buddy. Talk to a bunch of All right. I'm explaining the infinity loop. The universe is crumpled into a ball around us, effectively gathering every point to the same place. We ride the infinity loop, bouncing off all destinations here simultaneously. The possibilities are endless. We need only hit the switch again to land. Yeah, that sounds right. Hey, was I talking just now? What was the other thing they wanted us to do? I forget. Well, we control the music now. Yeah, don't overthink it. We just have to be careful not to destroy the universe again. Stay safe, buddy. You wanna play something?